Hey guys, welcome to my second tutorial. Uh, before we start, I want to say thank you so much for all the support on the last uh, tutorial. Um, this tutorial I'm going to do today has been like really much asked for, so I'm going to do it. It's a really simple tutorial, it will probably just take about 5 minutes, but I'll uh, go in detail and see if I can make it last a little longer. So uh, today we're going to do the indent, and uh, it's like this, you will see that it seems like it goes inside the background or the color you got. Uh, the main thing about this is you gotta have uh, you gotta have a darker color than a background. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, dive right into it. So uh, what you're gonna start with is a text. So right now I'm just using uh, Helvetica CE. Let's see in Dent. Yep. And now we're going to place it down here. I'm just going to choose black color now, so don't worry about it. Um, maybe I'm, I'm just like really OCD, so I gotta place it right in the middle. There we go. And uh, you want to take the fill down to about 30, no, 25. Like that. And then you're gonna go into the layer style. Uh, to go into the layer style, you either just double click it or you can go down here to effects and choose uh, blending options. Uh, the first we're gonna need is a drop shadow. So uh, tick off, use flow light and do a 90. Uh, change the color to white and the blending mode to normal and put it down to about 30 27 I guess and then you're gonna place the distance to 1 the spread 0 and the size 0 uh, you can actually take the opacity of the white color up to 4 and the distance to 2 you can take it down again to 30 like that now I'm gonna go to inner shadow, tick off the use global light and put it to 90 and uh, set the distance to 3 and the size to 3 and keep the choke on 0 and uh, yeah we're pretty much done here uh, the next step is uh, copy the layer clicking Control J or on the Mac I think it's Command J and uh, hide the layer, the copy we made, hide it, go to normal indent and clear layer style, it's gonna make it all black and then you go up here, make sure you have the text tool, and you go up here, change the color color to white, and you go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and put it to 8 and click OK and then you're gonna hold in control or command and click on the indent copy to so this thing comes from so you click on the first layer the one you just blurred and hit delete and you're gonna see you're gonna delete the insides of the blur and you can unhide uh, indent and you're gonna change the blending mode to overlay and put the fill down to about 70 then you're gonna need a brush or a, well, let's see, a razor tool and put about 200 and uh, a soft brush of course then you're gonna take it like a little over the middle so just move it over like this there you go and that's pretty much it not, not a whole lot more to it um, so yeah guys uh, more tutorials will come tomorrow uh, we'll make a Cinema 4D tutorial tomorrow about uh, how to make the crack text 
and also I'm probably going to come out with a speed art tomorrow. But if you guys have any idea what what you want, then just tell me in the comments below, and uh, I'll see if I can do it. Also, this tutorial I did right now, uh, all credits to uh, Matti Di Kisari. He's the one that taught me this, so I just want to give him some credit for showing me how to do this with his tutorial, so I can show you guys. So yeah, peace guys.